Very welcome uh, to all of you to this year's uh, European Skiing Orienteering uh, Championships here in uh, Latvia. As uh, you can see in the screen, there is uh, Madwana, very, very snowy, and uh, we will uh, be together for this whole week uh, experiencing a lot of uh, different uh, races in uh, skiing or engineering of course and um, uh, dedicating uh, getting to know all the medalists and uh, and uh, a lot of athletes of course uh, my name is uh, Elena and uh, I can uh, I can start with introducing you all uh, with uh, this week's program. So uh, we will have uh, five races during uh, this uh, whole week. Uh, we will have sprint, uh, middle, mass start relay, and the sprint relay all within six days. So every day except. Thursday and uh, we will have uh, also Junior World Ski Orienteering Championships, Euro European Youth Ski Orienteering uh, Championships uh, concurrently as well as World Cup. Uh, in this event, uh, we have a lot of participating countries as well. For example, Austria, Bulgaria, Czechia, uh, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, of course. Finland, Japan, Kazakhstan, Norway, Sweden, Switzerland, Turkey and Ukraine. So... Um, a lot of athletes. Uh, we have 94 athletes registered from 14 nations uh, to compete in uh, European Skiing Orienteering Championships. As uh, we can see on uh, your screen right there, the first athletes uh, have uh, started uh, the race. I believe uh, that they are youngsters. As we can see, Artem Viric from Ukraine uh, has uh, went into the distance, into the race uh, in the forest uh, through all types of terrain here in uh, Madonna, Smetseres Seals. As well as Latvian athletes, of course, we are uh, cheering for them as well. Arina Grigorieva from Latvia. And uh, right now uh, we are uh, looking at uh, group uh, 17, uh, which uh, uh, whose uh, course is uh, for women, it's uh, 2,400 uh, 2, meters. And uh, for men, a little more, 280, uh, 2,080 meters. And uh, there are uh, 34 uh, entered competitors for men's group and uh, 26 for women's. And uh, also, I can remind to you all that uh, the uh, elite group or uh, group 21, uh, women will start at uh, 11.35, so after an hour and a half. And men will start uh, at uh, twelve fifteen, which is uh, two hours in two hours and ten minutes. Here we have uh, the first look uh, uh, on the map. As we can see, a lot of tracks, um, bright green forest. Uh, so that means very different. Uh, skiing conditions and definitely uh, could be challenging for everybody.
Anette Vintisha from Latvia into why it looks like quite a slippery slope there and uh, I can um, speaking about the conditions so uh, we have uh, as you can see we have uh, quite some snow here in uh, Maduana uh, but uh, as uh, maybe some of you know uh, uh, Maduana is in like one part of uh, Latvia uh, but uh, I just came here uh, yesterday from the capital of Latvia Riga um, and there is almost like no snow at all all this snow has uh, has come down from the clouds uh, in the past few days so we can consider it uh, like a gift from mother nature so we can have an amazing competitions here Taking a quick look uh, at the results, uh, we can uh, see uh, live results, of course. They are all available uh, for you uh, if you go through the website orienteering uh, that sport. We can see uh, that um, in the men's group, uh, men 70, uh, 17. Um, so the fastest to the first uh, split control is uh, Jan Zurinek from uh, Czech Republic uh, with uh, 3 minutes and 28 seconds. And uh, he is also uh, in the lead... Uh, also in the fifth uh, radio control. So a quick, uh, a quick GPS replay uh, between Kuoka and uh, Mokvest. Two athletes, as we can see, uh, speed is uh, of course super important here, and the athletes are choosing uh, the widest. Uh, more wider tracks uh, to go from control uh, to control. Of course, they are faster. Turkish athlete right here uh, through start. Yasar Eren Demir from Turkey. Taking a quick look at uh, women's uh, replay, uh, not women's replay, women's live results. We can see that uh, right now um, Elsa Mokvist from Sweden is definitely in the lead uh, by a few um, 
Oh, now it's just a few seconds uh, in front of uh, Sheila uh, Havd Havdrova from Czech Republic. Only one second in front uh, in the uh, third control. And somewhere right there are also all the other athletes uh, from uh, Women's 17 group. Harriet Koppel from Estonia, Katri Kuoka from Finland, Korali Waldner from Switzerland, and Anette Mintisha and Arina Grigorieva from Latvia. Here we can see Vintisha and uh, Havdrova taking uh, two a little different uh, route choices for that uh, for that control. And Laura Krumina from Latvia. And here we can see Vintisha and Havdrova taking two different route choices from control four, th from control four to five, as well as uh, Laura Kruminja from Latvia taking uh, taking a completely different route choice than the other ones to the first control, and uh, Estonia Vair looks like she is skiing in a completely different direction. Um, I don't really know what has uh, happened there. And right now we can see Katri Kuoka from uh, Finland uh, heading straight to the finish. Her time is uh, 13 minutes and 13 uh, seconds. And uh, she, uh, she was the first one who went into the forest and now the first one uh, coming out. Uh, Estonian Vaher uh, has uh, made quite a big uh, mistake there. And uh, Switzerland from uh, Waldner from uh, Switzerland heading to the control number eight. And then uh, after that, it is definitely the finish line for her. Korali Waldner uh, from Switzerland uh, at the finish line uh, as well. Only 20 seconds behind uh, Katri Kuoka, uh, which is uh, who is uh, the leader for now. And also Estonia uh, looks like at the finish line, uh, Harriet Koppel. And uh, she is 20 seconds in front of... Uh, Katri Kuoka, uh, 
previous leader. Also, Latvian uh, Bremze uh, looks like uh, she went. Uh, she had a little, little mistake there, but uh, trying to correct it with looks like uh, also a little around the road track to control number four. And we can see Estonian Vaira Lueti uh, from Switzerland uh, taking uh, the same. Um, the same route to control number uh, three and Latvian Krumina taking uh, taking another route choice and here we can see quickly and uh, Naskali and Coppel uh, uh, comparison uh, Coppel has made already made a little mistake there on the first control uh, Finnish sportist uh, athlete is in uh, front if we checking uh, them um, the split results uh, so uh, could be that we are uh, waiting uh, for a new leader definitely uh, Johanna Naskali from Finland uh, has had uh, the best uh, split times until now so uh, looks like a pretty good race to her if uh, she um, maintains uh, the stability and doesn't make any big mistakes further now she could be definitely looking at the leader spot And here is Jan Zudinek from Czech Republic uh, in the at the finish. His time is uh, 13 minutes and 37 seconds, and he is right now at the lead. And uh, also. Uh, 301 Altarir Ilgaz. Uh, Tutso Golari from uh, Turkey. He is going to be a little behind. Four minutes and 30 seconds uh, behind uh, Jan Zurinek right now. Only two men athletes. Uh, has uh, have finished the race. Also, Arina Grigorieva from Latvia into the finish line. Uh, right now, looks like she is in the fourth position. Two minutes and 33 seconds uh, behind the leader for now. Here I can see a lot of uh, women athletes into the forest. Some are uh, skiing uh, almost together, taking the same route choices. Some are choosing uh, different ones. But only the end results will uh, tell us so which were the best or maybe which athlete was the fastest today. And uh, right now at uh, the finish line, Sheila Havdrova from uh, Czech Republic. And uh, looks like she is uh, right now in the third position, uh, only 33 seconds behind the leader, Harriet Koppel from Estonia. Uh, for now, it's the third position, and her time is 13 minutes and 16 seconds. She had a little rough start there, but uh, managed to uh, to pull out uh, to pull the ending uh, pretty good. So her time is pretty good as well. 
right now, uh, Maya Lundholm from uh, Sweden heading into the Symmetra Sills Forest. Into the tracks there. And uh, here we can see men at the lead. Jules Hamel from uh, Switzerland. And right after him, it was another. And uh, here you can see Naskali Mokwist, uh, Reidberg, uh, and uh, Anate Vintisha from Latvia heading to the eighth control. They will be pretty soon in the finish. As we can see, Johannes uh, Naskali uh, skiing speed is uh, definitely uh, greater than the Latvians. So it looks like she will be passing her uh, right about now. Uh, we can see a Swedish athlete uh, Mokwis taking a little bit different route choice there. Heading uh, around. And right now, Johanna Naskali from Finland uh, heading straight uh, to the finish line, and looks like she is uh, definitely she is definitely going to be in the lead. Uh, the new time, uh, the best time right now for women's uh, uh, women's course um, is 11 minutes and 49 seconds. Also here, Anna Vintisha from Latvia. And her time, 17 minutes and 3 seconds, uh, a little bit more than 5 minutes um, slower than uh, the fastest athlete today. Here we can also see Swedish athlete and a little comparison before Schiller and uh, Naskali. As we can see, Naskali made a little mistake there. Um, but she, uh, for now, has the fastest uh, split uh, controls uh, to all the radio uh, controls. And uh, But looks like Schiller is coming uh, in just a few seconds, just a few seconds after Naskali. So that could be definitely a tight race. Quickly switching to men's uh, 17 uh, class. Uh, looks like Jan Zurinek from Czech Republic, uh, which uh, who was uh, in the lead uh, for uh, some time. Uh, he His result is uh, MP or missing point. Looks like he missed uh, something there. But right now for men's, uh, the fastest is uh, Niklas, Hirvalahti from, Niklas Hirvalahti from Finland with uh, time 15 minutes and 4 46 seconds. And here we can see Martin Zenitis uh, heading uh, through the finish. And uh, he has uh, the new best time. 15 minutes and 31 seconds. Looks like he made some mistakes. Uh, in the start at the start of the course but he managed to ski through them and uh, he had uh, the fastest uh, split time uh, at the ending there and uh, right now a little uh, a little more than 10 seconds in front of everybody else in front of second place Krastova from uh, Czech Republic, uh, Schiller from uh, Switzerland, and Nordlund uh, from Sweden uh, in the women's 17 class, uh, right here.
And this is Mareli Vaher from uh, Estonia. And Mareli Vaher in the finish uh, with her time, 17 minutes and 14 seconds right there. Right now, Johanna Naskali uh, is uh, still in the lead with uh, her time 11 minutes and 49 seconds. Right behind is uh, Lucy uh, Hlavcova from uh, Czech Republic uh, with 12 minutes and 18 seconds. And uh, also we are waiting at the finish line for uh, Saul Traubaita from Lithuania. Looks like she has had a pretty good race herself. Naskali and Lundholm, women's race. Lundholm uh, is uh, looking at the split times. Uh, Lundholm is a few seconds in front of uh, Naskali, uh, judging by the split times. So uh, she really must uh, contain her stability and choose the right uh, tracks and uh, right route choices to uh, come through the finish line as uh, one of the fastest athletes today. Here we can see Laura Kruminja. And Krastova, Schiller, Nordlund, uh, Lundholm, Hoskari, and uh, Riekstinjam. Riekstinja and Hoskari taking a little uh, different root choice there to control number seven. Uh, but Lundholm uh, going, um, going uh, more to the right side there. And here we can see uh, Lundholm and Naskali uh, comparison, uh, judging by the split times. And uh, looks like she could definitely uh, take uh, the lead if she doesn't make any big mistakes at the end there. We will see that uh, judging by the next control, which is uh, radio control number eight. And uh, men's class, Lukas Silinch uh, from Latvia at the first position there. And uh, David Deleder from Czech Republic coming uh, there as a strong, uh, in the strong second position, 48 seconds uh, behind uh, Lukas Silinch from Latvia. Looks like he had a little bit of a difficult start as well uh, with some mistakes and some slower times there, but he managed to uh, contain his stability and finish as the second fastest person for now. Lundholm uh, heading uh, straight uh, to control number eight. Taking uh, more straight route choice and not choosing to go around.
and Lucas Tamas from uh, Romania at the finish line there and uh, right now at the finish Nora Nilsson Nordlund from uh, Sweden looks like her time is 15 minutes and 30 seconds uh, 3 minutes and 41 seconds behind the leader uh, Johanna Naskali for now but uh, let me remind you that Maya Lundholm uh, from Sweden is also uh, coming in the finish um, at the finish and she will be here pretty pretty soon and looks like she is going to take uh, the lead uh, because at uh, the control number 8 um, she was already uh, 33 seconds faster than uh, Johanna Naskali from uh, Finland. So, uh, let's see. Looks like, yes, that is Maya Lundholm taking uh, the lead right now. Her time is 11 minutes and 15 seconds. Amazing race from uh, Maya Lundholm today. She is uh, 34 seconds in front of the uh, second fastest finisher for, for, for now, Johanna Naskali from Finland. And in the third spot for now is uh, Nessa Schiller from Switzerland. Also, uh, Sunny Hoskari from Finland, pretty good time, uh, 12 minutes and 38 seconds. One minute and 23 seconds behind the leader, Maya Lundholm. Also, Latvian athlete, Liana Riekstinja. Definitely, uh, definitely coming to the finish. And uh, looks like her time is for... Uh, will be about uh, 14 minutes and 18 seconds, three minutes behind the leader, Maya Lundholm. And she is in the 13th position for now. Here we can see Maya Lundholm's uh, GPS uh, track uh, comparing with the Estonian parts and Naskali uh, from Finland. Here we can see Estonian making quite a big mistake there. I don't really know what, what happened there, but looks like she is going <laughs> in a loop, uh, taking a celebratory loop, I guess. Uh, a little uh, way around the tracks uh, in uh, Smetersils uh, could be pretty tricky. They are definitely quite tricky uh, because there are a lot of them and they could look pretty similar. So um, anybody could, uh, anybody can make uh, any type of mistakes here. Great orienteering uh, terrain. That is Smetsidis Sils. Annette Lisa Parts from Estonia uh, coming into the finish with her time uh, exactly 13 minutes, 1 minute and 45 seconds behind the leader. Looks like that uh, the loop uh, definitely didn't help uh, for achieving the best uh, result uh, today. But we will have uh, a few days ahead of us and uh, different races. Also here in Smetsir Sils. In the women's group also, Aneta Salava is showing uh, quite good split results here. Uh, looks like she could be in the 10th place. Uh, 
Uh, yes, here she is. A little bit more than two minutes behind the leader. Um, Aneta had a very good first part of the race. Uh, she was definitely fighting for top 10 there, but something uh, happened, maybe some mistakes, maybe that was speed, uh, we don't know, mm, but her time right now, 13 minutes and 32 seconds, 2 minutes and 17 seconds behind the leader, Anete Salava from Latvia. We still have a few athletes uh, in the forest uh, for women's group. It's Margarita Diente from Lithuania, Mari Varga from Austria, and Anna Irka from Ukraine. But let's take a quick look at the men's class as well. We, ha we can see that uh, the leaders uh, have changed. Uh, only four seconds in front, Emil Koskinen from Finland uh, with his time 12 minutes and 24 seconds. But right now, Renards Grasis from Latvia heading straight to the finish and looks like he is going to be in the third spot. 32 seconds uh, behind uh, the leader. And uh, right now, uh, the podium. The podium looks uh, pretty filled with Latvians, but that's only for now. We still have athletes in the forest. So, uh, taking a quick uh, look back at women's race, Lundholm, Schiller and uh, Naskali uh, are uh, first, uh, first uh, three fastest ladies today in the group uh, Women 17. Almost looks like they uh, they are taking the same route choices. Looks like down the hill there, Schiller taking a route around to control number seven, and they all heading almost the same. Lundholm taking uh, a little a little different choice there. Maybe that was her uh, today's uh, key uh, of the success. Schiller a little slower there at the end. Yeah, but uh, Lundholm definitely take uh, some uh, some different route choices there from uh, the uh, other top uh, three athletes, uh, Nascali and Schiller. Uh, maybe that was her key to the success. Maybe it was the speed. Maybe it was all combined. But looks like uh, Maya uh, from Sweden, Maya Lundholm from Sweden, has definitely set the fastest time for women's uh, 17 course. 34 seconds behind her, Johanna Naskali and Nessa Schiller from Switzerland at the third spot. Almost a minute behind the leader for now. And uh, in the men's course, skiing uh, there a little bit past the final 100th control. That is uh, Raiko Axilar from Estonia, right uh, here, not very far from Latvia. And he is coming, uh, looks like, into the 14th spot. Uh, seven minutes and uh, 17 seconds behind the leader. His time is 18 minutes and 29 seconds. Also, Austria. Here we can see in our screens. And Lithuania. Looks like all the women athletes have finished. Uh, so here we can see Margarita, uh, Margarita Diente from Lithuania and Mari Varga from Austria. And uh, I think we will see the results for women. Looks like all of them have uh, finished. No disqualifications or missed points. And 
and Lavion Muller from Switzerland coming into the finish as well and looks like he is uh, he is in the first uh, position And here we can see Latvian uh, Ritvars Ljepeškins. Uh, skiing uh, through the Smetsersils tracks and uh, looks like he is uh, the fastest one for now. Uh, his time is 11 minutes and 12 seconds. Choosing the track around. Looks like uh, Lepeshkins had a pretty, pretty good race for himself. Pretty stable. Uh, stability is uh, the key. Also, uh, the weather outside, uh, it's just starting to snow more and more. Almost like a snowstorm right here. So <laughs> we cannot definitely, we definitely cannot uh, be sad or mad about the weather conditions right here. I think, I personally think they're great. So, um, this is uh, Juna Hirvalahti from Finland coming into the finish with his time 12 minutes and 57 seconds. 1 minute and 45 seconds behind the leader for now, Ritvars Lepeškins. And here you can see. Uh, all the other athletes that are in the forest now. So, uh, looking at the men's uh, 17 group, uh, the first uh, one uh, for now is uh, the fastest one for now is Ritvars uh, Lepeškins from Latvia with his time 11 minutes and 19 seconds. Uh, the second one is uh, Lavio Müller um, with uh, his time 12 minutes and 24 seconds. And the third fastest uh, for now, Emil Koskinen from Finland, 12 minutes and 33 seconds. And the uh, women's 17 finish, as we just saw, uh, the fastest one, Maya Lundholm from uh, Sweden, uh, 11 minutes and 23 seconds. Uh, then uh, Johanna Naskali from Finland, uh, 11 minutes 58 seconds. And uh, then uh, from Switzerland, uh, Nessa Schiller. Uh, 12 minutes and 21 seconds. Here we can see an athlete running. Could it be that something... Oh, the ski is broken. Oh, no. That looks very unlucky for today. That is Daniil Onyshenko from uh, Ukraine. Looks like his ski broke. Could be. Smetsersils is pretty hilly, uh, has pretty hilly terrain. And uh, that could be a possibility. So right now, uh, Alicia Bergqvist from Sweden. Uh, she is the first uh, athlete in women's 20 group heading into Smetsera Sils, not knowing uh, what's in uh, front of her uh, for the for the next um, 15, 20 minutes. Rasmus Eriksson from Sweden. 
So we are uh, very quickly starting uh, women's and men's uh, 20 races right here with uh, two Swedish athletes. Here we, uh, here we will have uh, a lot more competitors and um, Laura Elizabeth Lan from Estonia. As we can see, uh, snow is definitely falling from the sky. I uh, hope that it uh, does not disturb uh, the athletes that much. Here we could uh, see uh, Rauli Aalo uh, from uh, Finland heading into the forest. Also, Davis Vintage from Latvia has uh, was the first one uh, who went in. Oily Holopainen uh, from uh, Finland. She is uh, also the third one at the start from uh, Women's 20 group. Uh, Alicia Bergqvist from Sweden was uh, the first one who went in. And uh, right now, Radek Venas from uh, Czech Republic into the forest here. Inga Wiklund uh, from Norway as well at the start line, right there. So, uh, looking a little bit more uh, through the uh, women and men uh, 20 course, uh, in women 20 group, uh, we have uh, 38 entered competitors and uh, the distance is uh, 3,100 meters. Junior World Ski Orienteering uh, Championships. Venla Pola from Finland also heading into the uh, forest, into the track maze here in Smetsere Sils. But looking at the men, uh, here we can see Dav Svintish from Latvia. Pretty heavy snow. Looks quite fun. Uh, looking at the men's 20 group, uh, we have 37 entered competitors and uh, 3,300 uh, uh, meters plan. Results, uh, M17 group, uh, which uh, has uh, finished, uh, all the athletes uh, have finished, so uh, quite, uh, quite many missed points uh, from some athletes there. But looking at the results, uh, so the fastest uh, one, the fastest one, uh, no doubt, is definitely Ritvar Lepeškins from Latvia. 11 minutes uh, and 19 seconds. Uh, that is definitely the first spot on the podium. One minute and four seconds behind him. Uh, one minute and five seconds behind him is uh, Lavio Müller from Switzerland. Uh, his time is 12 minutes and 24 seconds. And then Emil Koskinen from Finland, 12 minutes and 33 seconds. 
Davis Vintage from Latvia. Taking the most uh, straightest uh, route choice and then um, going around uh, to control number five. Looks like uh, that this uh, longer uh, route choice and the and I don't know if that was the GPS signal or he really went a little bit past control number five. No, he didn't. Um, Davs Mintish, uh, his time uh, until the control number five is four minutes and 36 seconds. Uh, he's uh, falling a little bit uh, behind the uh, Finnish and Swedish athletes. And uh, right now, uh, Radek Penaz uh, from Czech Republic. Looks like he is the fastest one uh, to the control number five. His time is exactly four minutes. Rauli Aho from Finland. Here we can see on our screens right here. Korsin Müller uh, from Switzerland, also heading into the forest. So men's 20 group, uh, Penaz, Aho and Eriksson. Uh, here we can see a comparison uh, between their uh, route choices right there. So looks pretty similar. Uh, Eriksson taking a little, uh, a little different there to the control number four. Also finding the straightest, uh, straightest route choice to control number five. Looks like uh, they are... Uh, Taking almost the same route choices. Nanami Iwabuchi from Japan. Also, she has definitely traveled quite far to Latvia to participate. And uh, we are uh, very happy that we have uh, so many different uh, countries participating in uh, these uh, skiing orienteering championships right here in Madhuana. Marie Schiel from Norway.
Eriksson from uh, Sweden, Dav Svintish from Latvia, and uh, Ho from uh, Finland. A little comparison uh, through the GPS looks like uh, they have uh, a lot of different uh, route choices there, but uh, they are mostly taking uh, the same ones, so the speed is very, very crucial right here at this distance, at this course, as it always has been. Definitely. The speed is definitely pretty crucial. Ericsson, Aho and Penaz uh, taking uh, taking two different uh, route choices uh, there to control number nine. And here you can see Swedish athlete Eriksson has uh, has uh, left uh, the map, uh, skied uh, quite a bit outside of it. Dav Svintish taking a straighter route choice there, but Eriksson definitely made a mistake there. So looks like that uh, his. Uh, his pretty good uh, split times. Uh, well, let's see what is uh, what will his uh, finish time be. Here we can see Nadezhda Fedotova from Latvia and uh, Aho Eriksson, Penaz and Lien from, uh, from many different countries. We can see uh, their route choices a little bit here. We can see Eriksson taking, uh, taking some different ones. This is uh, Lotte Lina Ekström from Finland. And here we can see uh, Penaz from uh, Czech Republic heading uh, to the control there. Vintis, Sherikson and Aho, uh, they will uh, pretty soon be in the finish.
And here we can see men's uh, 20 group, Davi Svintic uh, in the finish, pretty tired. And uh, we can uh, also see, um, we can also see Rasmus Eriksson uh, from Sweden and Rauli Aho from Sweden. Uh, Raul Aho from Finland. And uh, also Radek Penas from uh, Czech Republic. And uh, Alicia Berquist from uh, Sweden, women's 20 class. She is uh, coming, uh, coming into the finish. And um, looks like her time is 18 minutes and 33 seconds. We will soon uh, see uh, more athletes from this class and looks like uh, Nelly Martenson from Sweden uh, is uh, has definitely shown uh, the fastest time to the split controls for now. So we could be, uh, she could be definitely looking for one of the fastest times um, for now, of course. We don't know, anything can happen, this is orienteering. So uh, that was uh, Simon Markstrom uh, coming at the finish. Uh, looks like uh, sh he is uh, he is one of the fastest. He is the fastest athlete for now. And here we can see Rauli Aho taking a completely different route choice there, but uh, looks like that could be the fastest one. He was definitely the first one uh, to the control. And uh, looks like he was in the lead uh, to the next uh, control as well. So Markstrom uh, also taking a different route choice there. And uh, Venla Vipola from uh, Finland. Uh, looks like uh, she has uh, the fastest time for now. Uh, her time is 17 minutes and 19 seconds. 
Mm, she had a little bit of a rough start there, but uh, managed to do everything perfectly at the end. So right now uh, she is in the first place. And uh, right after her is uh, Oili Holopainen from Finland and Inga Wicklund from Norway. And uh, this one is uh, Kosin Müller from Switzerland, uh, also setting the fastest time for now in the men's 20 course. His time is 14 minutes and 33 seconds, and he is a little bit more than half a minute in front of Simon Markström from Sweden, uh, who has the second fastest time now. And the third one fastest uh, for now is Andreas uh, Mirvoldskovli from uh, Norway. Also, uh, this is uh, Justina Hamel from uh, Switzerland coming into the finish. And uh, could be that uh, she will be a little bit in front of Venla Vipola. And uh, she is. And uh, looks like she is coming into the second position with her time 17 minutes and 16 seconds. And uh, right now, here we can see uh, Evan Lean from uh, Norway, his uh, his finish, and uh, his time is uh, 15 minutes and 57 seconds. Looks now, looks like uh, for now he is at the sixth position, but we have. Uh, uh, more than a, a half of the group athletes still in the forest. And here we can see Tim Lundberg from Sweden. Uh, looks like he had a little bit of uh, some difficulties at the start of the race, but right now uh, he can be looking at the lead position for now. Uh, and uh, Tim Lundberg uh, right now uh, in the first place. Uh, his time, 14 minutes and uh, 5 seconds. And also he's from Sweden. So uh, looks like pretty a uh, good ending for uh, Tim Lundberg right here. Also uh, Timo Kudre from Estonia, uh, looking pretty good uh, judging by the split results. And uh, this one uh, was Axel Alde from uh, Norway. I think it was him.
And Kasparis Morenes from Lithuania at the finish. His time uh, 16 minutes and 19 seconds, 2 minutes and 14 seconds behind the leader for now. Lotelina Ekstrom uh, from Finland coming into the finish as well. And uh, looks like she is uh, she is the fastest athlete for now. Her time is uh, 16 minutes and 30 seconds. And looks like she had a pretty uh, stable race. Uh, she had a uh, pretty, uh, pretty good uh, split results through the whole race. Rupa Lamberg uh, from uh, Finland uh, into the finish as well. Looks like uh, he is uh, 1 minute and uh, 41 uh, seconds uh, slower than the fast athlete for now. His time 15 minutes and 46 seconds. Also for uh, women's uh, 20 group, uh, one of the previous leaders, the previous leader we had uh, Nelly Martensson from Sweden. Uh, she uh, missed punch. So unfortunately, unfortunately her result, uh, her results are not accepted. That was uh, Flavio Eller from uh, Switzerland into the finish. But right now here we can see Matthias Zokuril from uh, Czech Republic. Uh, looks like he uh, his time is 14 minutes and 58 seconds for now. And uh, he is uh, a little bit less than a minute uh, uh, slower than uh, the fastest man for now. Um, Right now, Tim Lundberg is still in the first uh, position. Also, Otto Timby from uh, Sweden coming uh, pretty strong into the finish uh, his time 40 minutes and 39 seconds 34 seconds behind the fastest athlete for now team lundberg and in the second position corsin miller from switzerland eliza mansena from latvia looks uh, in a pretty good position right now and here we can see some men athletes gps's and it looks like some of them will be coming into the finish quite soon Elza Brandt from Sweden, almost a minute behind the fastest uh, athlete for today. And Ole Gunnar Klepa Matslien from uh, Norway, just a few seconds. 
And here we can see some Latvian female athletes as well. Looks like Nadezhda Fedotova mm, with her time 23 minutes and 43 seconds. And Elisa Bremze. Uh, her time is 19 minutes and 52 seconds. Uh, they are taking the 11th and 13th spot. A little comparison between men athletes. Uh, Betiris and uh, Gezelius from Sweden. Looks like Udis Beteris uh, has uh, had uh, the fastest split times to the first radio controls. And uh, Gazelius uh, is also still in the forest. And also having pretty good split times there. A few different route choices, a little bit different. But as you can see, this key track is... Uh, Pretty full with different kinds of uh, slopes. Also, Audrey Sodovitolinch from Latvia coming into the finish and looks like he could be in. Uh, he could be looking uh, at uh, the fifth uh, position or fourth, fifth. Yes. He is at the fifth uh, position for now. Forty six seconds behind the leader. Leader is still Tim Lundberg from Sweden. His time fourteen minutes and five seconds. Looks like Albin Gazelius uh, from Sweden and Udis Beteris from Latvia are uh, quite uh, fighting there for the fastest times. Um, if we look at the control number 11, uh, Albin Gazelius' time was 8 minutes and 28 seconds and Udis Beteris' uh, time was 8 minutes and 53 seconds. So pretty close to each other. And let me remind you that uh, right now, uh, the fastest time uh, to that uh, control, uh, if we look at the finishers, was uh, from uh, Tim Lundberg, uh, and his time was 9 minutes and 23 seconds. So almost a minute slower than the uh, current, uh, current uh, athletes that are fighting for the, um, for the fastest times. Uh, Gazelius from Sweden and Beteris from Latvia. Ani Salmela from Finland coming into the finish. And right now, looks like the lead is uh, Anete Strauta from Latvia. And Ani Salmela coming uh, quite some time behind Anete Strauta. So right now, the fastest one um, is Anete Strauta uh, with 14 minutes and 53 seconds. And right behind her, Anni Salmela from Finland 
16 minutes and 8 seconds. And right after her, a Lotteline Ekstrom from uh, Finland. And Axel Alde from uh, Norway coming into the finish. Uh, looks like he is at the 11th spot for now. As well as Kari Stevander from Finland. 40 seconds uh, behind the leader for now, Team Lundberg. And we will uh, pretty soon uh, see Albin Gazelius and Ujis Becher should be right here pretty soon as well. Uh, right now, looks like Albin Gazelius is definitely, uh, will be definitely the fastest uh, man um, in the 20th group. And uh, his time is uh, 13 minutes and 7 seconds, almost a minute in front of the previous leader, Tim Lundberg. But uh, don't forget that Ujis Beteris is also coming uh, pretty soon. And uh, if he doesn't make uh, any big mistakes and if his speed is uh, very good, as good as uh, it was in the first half of the race, then uh, there is definitely going to be uh, more podium changes uh, at the end of the race here. Uh, quickly back to the women's 20 group. Annie Salmela still in the leader positions. And uh, Birgit uh, Dorthea Matslin uh, from Norway into the third spot. 28 seconds behind the leader. Some more athletes coming closer and uh, closer to the finish. Crossing the finish line. This is Ella Tureson uh, from Sweden. And looks like Ella is definitely, um, definitely fighting uh, for the first place and podium here. Ella's time is 15 minutes and 19 seconds and uh, right now she is the fastest one. She is the fastest athlete in women's 20 course. Uh, here you can see an athlete from Turkey as well. And Ujis Beteris um, has uh, come uh, through the finish line at the third position. Uh, he had the fastest uh, split times at the start there. And uh, he is uh, almost a minute behind Albin Gazelius. Here we can see Lundholm Gazelius and uh, Krach from uh, Estonia. Uh, we still have a few athletes fighting uh, for the podium and the fastest times today. Here we can see them taking uh, almost uh, the same courses. And Estonian taking a little bit of a different uh, route choice right there.
moment. Marek Starba from Czech Republic coming into the finish. Uh, looks like he skied a little bit uh, past uh, the 100th control. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Looks like he could be in the second position for now. Of course, everything can change uh, pretty fast there. Also, Latvian uh, Gustav Stanja uh, right through the control number eight. And Krav from Estonia and Gazelius from Sweden. Uh, let me remind you that Gazelius has already finished uh, the race. Uh, he's uh, the fastest uh, for now. Here we can see Elisa Matsana from Latvia also in the finish. And looks like uh, he, uh, she is uh, in the fifth spot. Pretty good time for the Latvian. Uh, 16 minutes and 57 seconds. Uh, one minute and 38 seconds behind the leader Ella Turreson uh, from Sweden. And here comes to the finish. Also, Piri uh, Risanen from uh, Finland. Looks like that is going to be uh, the fourth fastest uh, place for now. Of course, we can all uh, we all know that it still can drastically change uh, any time. As we can see, a little comparison here. Uh, Albin Gazelius from Sweden, uh, he is in the first place for now. And uh, we all are also waiting for uh, Chris Markus Krav from Estonia coming into the finish. But right now we can see Vilma Pesu from Finland. Looks like she is going to be a little bit uh, uh, and about a minute uh, behind the leader for now, Ella Tureson. Getting back uh, to the women's course, Ingeborg uh, Roll Mosland uh, from Norway. Uh, looks like she is uh, going to be in the top 10 here. And of course, for now, we cannot still be sure until the official results are out. Looks like we have lost uh, Estonian's uh, GPS there for a bit. 
Oh no, uh, it's back and here you can see him and Gazelius uh, taking uh, the same route uh, to the control. Uh, could it be the key to the success? Might be. To control number 13 there. Also Rizanen uh, from Finland and Betris uh, from Latvia. Rizanen and Betiris uh, already uh, both have finished and uh, they uh, are uh, they are looking at the same time. Uh, they both have same time, 14 minutes and 7 seconds. Uh, could be that there is a photo finish or uh, like uh, a split fourth place. Also... Uh, Oleg Gunnar Kleppa mm, from Norway. Looks like three of the athletes have uh, the same time. 14 minutes and 7 seconds. And right now we can see Gustav Stanja. At uh, the finish. Looks like his time is 14 minutes and 21 seconds. And he is in the seventh position for now. Theodor Mohjelset from Norway also coming into the finish. Looks like he will have Theodor top 10. Uh, he will have a top 10 time as well. And Chris Markus Krav from Estonia coming in. And uh, his uh, time is uh, 13 minutes and 37 seconds. So right now looks like he could uh, be in the second uh, place. Pretty good uh, result for the Estonian athlete. Looks like he has had a pretty good race as well. Uh, his uh, split times were pretty mm, uh, stable and uh, not uh, changing drastically. So looks like pretty good um, rate, uh, race for the Estonian. Right now, the first place, uh, the fastest, uh, the fastest athlete, uh, looks like is still uh, Albin Gazelius from Sweden, and in the third spot, uh, Marek Starba from Czech Republic. And right now, we can see that someone has uh, lost one of the. <laughs> one of the skis. We still have some athletes coming into the finish. Uh, Teresa Petskova from uh, Czech Republic. Her time is going uh, to be pretty good as well, looking at top 10 right there. And Kristin Melby Jakobsen uh, from Norway at the second spot for now. Um, looks uh, like her time is 11 minutes and 58 seconds, uh, 35 seconds behind Johanna Nas, uh, 35 seconds bef uh, behind Maya Lundholm from Sweden. And let's not forget about uh, Emilia Tomas Civiete from uh, Lithuania. She is also coming into the finish. Looks like she is quite some time behind the fastest athletes. Category, 
And here we can see a quick comparison between Albin Gazelius, uh, Chris Markus Krav, uh, Marek Sterba, as well as Udis Beteris from Latvia. Here we can see almost taking the same route choice as Crow could be making a little mis not a mistake, a different route choice. Lundberg uh, uh, being a little slower there and taking a route choice around. Krov also going around mostly through the tracks that uh, have a better ski ability. Which is better is taking a completely different route choice but catching uh, their, uh, up with uh, Lundberg. And uh, Gazelle is pretty good speed and Lundberg as well. Very good race for uh, all of the athletes. But right now we are back at uh, the women's 20 class. And um, we still have some women athletes in the forest in uh, women 20 group. This is uh, Michaela Strubova from uh, Czech Republic. here we have uh, results uh, for M20. So the first three, Gazelius, Krav and Starba from Sweden, Estonia and Czech Republic. Um, here we can see more uh, s athletes from Sweden, from Norway, from Czech Republic. Here we can see more Finland, Norway and Lithuania and some missed punches as well. Also, uh, the pretty, pretty soon we will start uh, the uh, the uh, group 21 uh, men's and uh, for women for men's and pro for women's uh, so um, a little bit more than uh, five minutes ago uh, the first athlete for uh, women's 21 course uh, already started and the men's will start in about 30 minutes also, results for women, uh, Tureson, Jakobsen and Nigli. Tureson, the first one uh, from Sweden, her time 15 minutes and 11 seconds. Um, then uh, we had uh, Kristin Melby Jakobsen from Norway, uh, her time 15 minutes and 42 seconds. And um, in the third uh, place for now, Alina Nigli from Switzerland and her time was 16 minutes and 7 seconds. Only one second behind her is Ani Salmela from Finland and uh, then uh, 10 seconds uh, behind the third spot is Vilma Pesu from uh, Finland. Very close uh, race for the ladies here.
So uh, right now uh, we are uh, waiting for the men's course and uh, and uh, still uh, and uh, we can also uh, also follow the women's course uh, right now. Uh, so uh, for the women's. Uh, right now we are switching from uh, the youngsters uh, to uh, elite athletes and uh, right now uh, we have in the forest quite a few of them. So uh, in, the, uh, in the women's group uh, we have Antonia Grigorova from Bulgaria. Uh, she started uh, almost 10 minutes ago the race and she was the first one who went in. Uh, we also have uh, Rabia Sehirli from uh, Turkey. We have Miki Aramachi from Japan, uh, Japan. Uh, Evin Kaya from Turkey, Teresa Krastova from Czech Republic, Aesne Havanger from Norway, Florina Müller uh, from Switzerland, uh, Nina Karna from Finland, and uh, Anna Asa from Sweden, as well as Gabriela Zaite Sonorina from Lithuania, who just just went into the forest. A lot of uh, women athletes here. And uh, for men's, uh, they uh, will start in about half an hour, as I said before. Uh, and uh, the first one who will go in will be Tuam Sveits from Latvia. And his start time, uh, 12.15 Latvian time. And after him, there will be Andrin Bieri from Switzerland, Ville Leitamaki from Finland, and some more else athletes. Some more athletes also uh, for women's course. Uh, the length of it is uh, 3,300 meters and we have uh, 35 entered competitors. For men's, of course, it's a little bit longer. It, it, uh, it's uh, 3,600 uh, meters and we have a lot more athletes. Uh, in this group, we have 53 in total. Of course, many different countries as well. And uh, speaking about uh, sprint and uh, getting ready for uh, the elite athletes, um, I can tell you that uh, amongst the amongst all the athletes, uh, there are also uh, top uh, three athletes in the current World Cup ratings for both women and men. So uh, if we look at the women's course, uh, we will have to follow very carefully uh, through the race with uh, Lisa Lindqvist from Sweden, Lisa Larsen also from Sweden, and Anna Ulvensson uh, from Norway. Uh, so they are right now uh, top three athletes in World Cup standings, as well as uh, for men. We will have uh, Bjornar Kvole from Norway, Jorgen Backlid from uh, Norway, and Henrik Fredrik As also from oh. Norway. And uh, speaking about uh, women's, uh, women's race and women's athletes, um, Oh, here we have also the uh, flower ceremony for the fastest woman in today's courses. Oh, oh. Also, the girls has received the flowers and let's congratulate with applauses. Gratulieren. Gratulieren. So let me quickly remind you, well the first one, Elle Tureson uh, from Sweden. Uh, the second one, uh, Kristi Melby Jakobsen from uh, Norway. And the third one, Alina Nigli from Switzerland, well, nice if I am not mistaken. Oh no, I am mistaken. I'm really sorry. These are the women's for women 17 class. Uh, so uh, quickly, let, mind, uh, let me remind you of them. Maya Lundholm uh, from Sweden, Johanna Naskali from Finland, and Nessa Schiller from Switzerland. Yes, here we just saw women's 17 flower ceremony. Women's 20 will be in a bit, not so soon as I hoped. Rico 
And uh, here I can see the top three men uh, for uh, top three fastest men for men's 17 class. Uh, we have uh, Ritvars uh, Lepeshkins from Latvia. He is also, by the way, from Maduana. Uh, so he uh, he was uh, he definitely had the fastest time today uh, by uh, more than a minute. Uh, the second place uh, was for Alavio Müller from Switzerland, and the third one Emil Koskinen from Finland. Also Grigorova and Müller uh, from Switzerland. Here we can see women's 21 uh, first athletes that uh, who have uh, started the race already. So right now, Antonia Grigorova uh, from Bulgaria has shown the fastest uh, split times and uh, looks like Müller is uh, right uh, behind her, judging by the first split times and the time there. We all know everything can change pretty fast during all of the course. Also here we can see uh, Delia Gizandener uh, from Switzerland starting her race. And here we can see women 20 athletes and the flower ceremony. Ella Tureson uh, in the first place. Kristin Melby Jakobsen from Norway, second place. And the third uh, place goes to Alina Nigli from Switzerland. Of course, pretty happy ladies there on the podium. And uh, men's 20 group uh, flower ceremony. The first one, Albin Gazelius, uh, Gazelius from Sweden. Uh, the second position uh, is for Chris Markus Kraup from Estonia. And in the third place, Marek Sterba from Czech Republic. Congratulations. And we will pretty fastly move uh, into the elite class where we will be uh, getting uh, to know the fastly fastest athletes in there.
Poď, 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 dávaj, dávaj, dávaj. One year before, Andrus Werpler took their silver in the Ramsau 50 of the World Championships. Oh, man. Oh, man, again, three more, yeah. Come Come on. Come on. Norske jenta Anna Olvensøen. Anna Olvensøen, i fjor var på 20. plass og 20. place last year for Norwegian Olvensøen. But she did much better. We were 9th place in the sprint a few weeks ago, but best result came for the Norwegian in the middle distance. When she, where she was in among the, among top three with the second place. Anna Olvensøen. Strand from Norway to Amisto from uh, Finland and Gisandener from Switzerland. Uh, we could see their GPSs for quite a bit there. Yeah, 
And uh, right now the finish line, Antonia Grigorova from Bulgaria, uh, 16 minutes and 25 seconds. And uh, she was the first one uh, who went into the forest. And right now she has the fastest time which is uh, 16 minutes and 25 seconds. Right behind her is uh, Florina Muller from Switzerland with 17 minutes and 17 seconds. And then Anna Asa from Sweden, 17 minutes and 23 seconds. Uh, she, uh, she had quite a rough start there. Uh, her split times uh, weren't half as good as her end split times. Uh, so... Um, so it looks like Anna Asa had uh, some uh, little uh, misunderstandings at the beginning of the race, but then the, at the end she was going full speed. And uh, right now we can see uh, Lea uh, no Idun Strand. Uh, she uh, is at the uh, radio control number five. Uh, she also is from Norway, and uh, her split times are. Uh, Pretty good. And in the finish right now, Gabi Arazaita is Sunoriene from Lithuania. Her time is 2 minutes and 3 seconds slower. Uh, 18 minutes and 28 seconds. Uh, uh, she is a little bit slower than current leader, um, but everything will definitely change. Also, uh, also uh, Maria Hoskari uh, has uh, pretty good uh, split times for the first half of the race. And uh, also Lea Widmer from Switzerland uh, right now has uh, the best uh, split times uh, to two uh, radio controls. So she can be definitely looking at uh, one of the fastest times uh, for now. We still have uh, quite many athletes that uh, are... Uh, are on the start line or right before it. Uh, one of them being uh, being uh, Lisa Lindquist, Linda Lindquist, uh, as well as Lisa Larsen has just uh, went into the forest. But they will all be uh, in the in the race pretty soon through the tracks heading uh, to the finish Everybody and collecting uh, all, the, all the all the possible the and uh, all the necessary Elisa controls they need and the Swedish will stand waiting for Charlotte Hall at that time but uh, Charlotte was 23rd last year and very good the first World Cup yet, to get the European Championships in other uh, group, we have also the second stage of the World Cup. And uh, we have the that Lea Miller. That was uh, Anna Olvenson from uh, Norway, who just needed uh, a little bit uh, to think. And we can see that she made uh, a little mistake. Uh, oh, she skied uh, right past the track that um, goes to uh, the control number three. So uh, she... She is uh, heading uh, back there right now. Also, Kudere from uh, Estonia. Uh, 
Um, Dori Scudere from Estonia. Uh, she has uh, the second uh, fastest time, uh, fastest split time right now to the third control uh, with uh, three minutes and six seconds. Uh, three minutes and nine seconds, I'm sorry. And three minutes and six seconds is the time for um, Maria Hoskari from Finland. So that's definitely going to be a tight uh, fight because uh, Maria Hoskari is uh, in, uh, I could say that she is in a pretty good shape, definitely. And uh, she will be fighting for uh, the uh, top three uh, for the top fastest times there. Here we can see Satu Tuomisto from uh, Finland at the finish line and uh, looks like sh uh, her time is going to be 16 minutes and 29 seconds which is uh, 19 seconds behind uh, the leader Lia Widmer from Switzerland right now. So also Sandberg, Strand and Hoskari uh, for the seventh control right there. Uh, going, uh, Hoskari and Sandberg not going through the tracks. Going straight ahead there, cutting the loop there, taking a shortcut. And looks like it works pretty well. Right now, Delia Gizander, uh, Gizandaner uh, from Switzerland coming into the finish. Looks like she is going to be in the top 10 for now. Her finish time is 18 minutes and 33 seconds, uh, 2 minutes and 23 seconds behind the leader, Lia Widmer. That is Antonia Erhardt from Austria coming into the finish as well and uh, Looks like she will be in top 15 for now. Uh, looks like she definitely made uh, some mistakes or uh, was slower at the first part of the race because at the end uh, she managed to uh, get better split times. Here you can see Shagerstorm, uh, Hoskari and Sandberg. Uh, taking uh, the same root choices there uh, for control number three sandberg uh, could be that she skied past the track uh, could be that she wanted to go there also hoskari uh, taking uh, the loop around uh, from uh, control uh, four to five that is definitely some lost uh, seconds uh, could be some very very important seconds at the end there So skiing carefully and taking uh, all the shortcuts and straightish choices is definitely the key to the success here. Also, Hetta Virtanen from Finland coming into the finish. Looks like her time is... Uh, oh no, sorry, that was, I think, Maria Hoskari from Finland. Um, 
what a race for finish, Hoskari. What is the best of in the European Championship, as I said? Yes, Maria Hoskari coming into the finish. Uh, 121, that is her. And she right now has the fastest time. Uh, she is 41 seconds in front of uh, Lia Widmer from uh, Switzerland. Here we can see Evelina Wigbom from uh, Sweden. She has had the fastest uh, split time uh, to the fifth radio control. Uh, so uh, could be fighting for medals as well right here. Schneider from Estonia going to the fourth control. And here we can see pretty crucial uh, choice here going back and the uh, and the athletes uh, must uh, try to stay uh, to the direct path to the control number five. If they skip past that, uh, they are taking a loop uh, which could take uh, anywhere from uh, from uh, 15, 20 seconds to maybe more. Also, Daisy Kudre Schneider. Right here. And she uh, right now has uh, the fastest uh, split times to the, uh, to the first two radio controls. So uh, let's see what her performance is at the uh, end part of the race. And uh, let's see if uh, Daisy Kudrschneider is fighting for the medals right here. But uh, I think that she could be fighting for the fastest times. Here we can see Aneska Klavtova uh, from Czech Republic uh, showing the eighth best time. Uh, her time right now is uh, 17 minutes and uh, 14 seconds. Daisy Kudre Schneider uh, taking the shortcut uh, as well. Also, we can see all the three Swedes: Sandberg, uh, Schagerstorm, and Wigbom also taking uh, taking uh, that little shortcut right there. That loop could cost uh, them uh, some seconds as well. And Daisy Kudre Schneider heading uh, for the eighth control. Right now, looks like that could be Tuam's bait. Tuam's bait from uh, Latvia, heading into the forest. But right now, let's uh, head back quickly to the ladies. Frida Zanberg uh, from Sweden uh, coming uh, in. Let's see what her uh, time uh, is. Frida Sandberg uh, looks like is taking uh, the lead uh, for now. Her time is 15 minutes and 6 seconds. And uh, she is 23 seconds in front of Maria Hoskari from Finland. Also, Anne Zofie Kroch uh, from uh, Norway coming in. Um, she is a little slower than uh, the top podium, but uh, still her time uh, pretty uh, good. 
uh, 16 minutes and 29 seconds, uh, 1 minute and 23 seconds behind the leader, uh, as well as uh, her time is the same as the one for uh, Satu Tuomisto from Finland. They both have uh, 16 minutes and 29 seconds. And both are now sharing uh, the fifth place. For now, of course, everything can change pretty fast. And so the men's race has uh, started. Doris Kudrschneider uh, still uh, hitting and looks like she is also taking a shortcut to control number 10 going off the tracks and uh, heading through the forest. Looks like that could be her key to the success. Uh, she is going straight everywhere she can, not taking... Uh, any unnecessary uh, tracks anywhere else. Also, she has shown the best and the fastest time to the control number 11 as well. Uh, her time until the control number 11 is 9 minutes and 19 seconds. Uh, right behind her is Evelina Wigbom uh, from Sweden, uh, who is uh, 16 seconds slower. And then right after her, uh, it's uh, Elina Schagerstorm uh, from uh, Sweden. And her time until the control number 11 is 9 minutes and 45 minutes, uh, 45 seconds, I'm sorry. Uh, right now we can see Anna Ulverson uh, coming into the finish. Uh, she is from uh, Austria, I think, and as well uh, behind her, Lisa Larsen uh, from Sweden. Looks like she is taking the second position for now. Um, the fastest, uh, as the second fastest uh, woman in the elite class today. Her time uh, is 15 minutes and 22 seconds, which is 16 seconds slower than uh, Frida Sandberg from Sweden, which time is uh, whose time is uh, 15 minutes and six seconds. Right now we can see uh, Rabia Sahirli from uh, Turkey coming in. But let's remember that we have three very, very strong athletes right now fighting in the in the forest. Uh, Daisy Kudra Schneider, Evelina Wigbom and Elin Schagerstorm. They both, uh, they all three uh, have uh, fastest, faster times than Frida Sandberg, which is currently in the lead. Here we can see uh, Daisy's uh, sister uh, Doris Kudre. Uh, her time is uh, 17 minutes and 17 seconds, and right now she is in this 12th position, 2 minutes and 11 seconds behind the leader. Eliana Deininger from Switzerland coming into the finish and looks like she is in the fourth position. Um, she is 38 seconds slower than the current leader, Frida Sandberg. And Elin Schagestorm from Sweden coming into the finish and looks like she is taking the lead for now. Only eight seconds in front of Frida Sandberg. Very exciting finish. Let's not forget about Daisy Kudrschneider, who is coming pretty soon into the finish as well. Uh, and Evelina Wigbom from Sweden. That is going to be a really, really tight finish there. But Elin Schagstorm uh, from Sweden, such a good race. Uh, and she is taking the lead by eight seconds in front of Frida Sandberg. 
Um, as I said, uh, Daisy Kudrschneider and Evelina Wigbom coming uh, into the finish pretty soon. That is definitely going to be a fight for the medals here. Let's see. Uh, Daisy's uh, Daisy Kudra Schneider is uh, still uh, had uh, the best split times. So let's see her ending. If she maintains the speed, uh, or maybe uh, goes uh, skis even faster and doesn't make any mistakes there which I think shouldn't be a problem, then she could be definitely looking for the podium today in the sprint distance. Here we can see Evelina Wigbom uh, for the finish. Looks like she could be in front. Yes, she will be in front of Elin Schagström uh, from Sweden. As we can see, four Swedes uh, in, uh, are the fastest for now. And that is Evelina Wigbom taking the lead by, again, only eight seconds in front of Elin Schagestorm from Sweden. They are all from Sweden. And let's not forget uh, the Estonian Daisy Kudrschneider coming in and looks like she is going to take the lead. She has 30 seconds to cross that finish line and of course she is going to do that. And that is Daisy Kudrschneider finishing today's sprint distance, sprint race. And her time, 40 minutes and 26 seconds. She is 24 seconds in front of Evelina Wigbom from Sweden, as well as 32 seconds in front of Elin Schagstorm, also from Sweden. 40 seconds in front of Frida Sandberg from Sweden and Lisa Larsen, also from Sweden. 56 seconds in front of her. Uh, top six women are uh, within one minute. Very, very tight fight for the medals. But that is Daisy Kudra Schneider. She has been uh, incredible throughout the whole race. She has the fastest split times to all the radio controls and she has uh, only uh, maintained and only grew her lead. At first uh, she was uh, during the split controls and the distance uh, and the race, uh, she was at the beginning only 9 and 10 seconds uh, in front of uh, the second place, Evelina Wigbom. But at the end, she managed to raise the gap uh, to 26 seconds. Amazing race for Daisy Kudrschneider. Congratulations. And... Uh, we can move uh, to the men's course as well. As we just saw, Andris Jubelis was in the lead for now. In 1988, Aller Levandi won the bronze medal in the Nordic Combine in Calgary. Then Yuri Jansson in the rowing one. As we can see, uh, Daisy Kudrschneider, uh, Estonian, she is the fastest woman uh, for uh, today, 14 minutes and 26 seconds. And a lot of sweets, uh, Swedish uh, female athletes behind her. And um, uh, we, can, uh, we can see a lot of uh, women here today at the sprint distance. And we will quickly move uh, to the men's course right after these uh, results. Also, the GPS between all the three, um, all three fastest women today. So uh, we can see Schneider uh, taking uh, taking uh, the. 
they all are taking almost the same route choices here. Uh, cutting that loop right there. Uh, Big Bomb taking uh, a little different route choice there. Mm. Also, Shagstrom uh, going around. Uh, Daisy Kudrschneider taking the um, the straightest route choice possible, even if it's not on the tracks. As we can see, Daisy uh, Schneider's uh, speed is uh, very, very fast. She is definitely, uh, definitely skiing super fast and not making any mistakes. Of course, that is the key, uh, the main thing of uh, success. And uh, of course, to win medals in uh, races like this, European Championships. And as I uh, said to you before, right now we are changing uh, very fastly to the men's course. And uh, let's see, um, right now the fastest uh, split time uh, to the first radio control is for uh, Vili Laitamaki from Finland. Uh, and then also Tuomas Outinen uh, from Finland uh, has got pretty good split results to control number uh, five or the second radio control. Right now Dmitry Adamovich from Kazakhstan uh, heading into the course, into the race, ready to experience all the all the Smetzer Sils uh, tracks. And here you can see Vili Laitamaki from Finland um, taking, uh, taking a route choice around to control number two, and then heading to control number three. Taking that very unnecessary loop to control number five, losing some seconds there. Mm, we can also see men's course, which is a uh, tiny bit uh, longer than women's. Also going through the ski tracks to control 11 and 12. Then uh, heading closer uh, to the end of the map for control number 12. Um, also, Vili Leitamaki from Finland uh, has uh, has the fastest split uh, controls to con uh, spi split control times to control number twelve. Um, so uh, he is uh, he's going to be definitely one of the uh, fastest athletes that uh, come out of the race today. Another Latvian on the start line. Uh, Nauris Reise from uh, Latvia. Let's see how Latvians are uh, doing today in the uh, lead groups. They have been uh, training together with Estonian teams. Um, because in uh, Estonia for the past month there was uh, a much better and much more snow than in Latvia. But as I said at the start, um, in Latvia we have experienced a miracle from Mother Nature uh, in the past uh, few days. And right now we have uh, very good uh, conditions for skiing, which means we have snow. Um, right now, Laitamaki, Bieri, Veits, Ambrazas, also Jubelis. Uh, going around uh, to control number 10, uh, 12, I'm sorry, as well as Autinan and Petrulis uh, from Lithuania. We will uh, see them pretty soon at the finish line. Laitamaki and Autinan, uh, both uh, from Finland. And here we can see both of them taking the shortest uh, fruit choice there. Um, heading uh, heading uh, through a shortcut. And now two different route choices to control number 10. Laitamaki choosing the uh, slope, uh, which is, uh, which is uh, wider and uh, could be more comfortable for skiing, but it goes uh, all the way around. So, uh, 
that really depends on the skiing speed of the athletes, of course. Also, Janis Baunis from uh, Latvia heading uh, right into the forest. His parents are actually also from Maduana. Uh, so uh, don't be surprised that uh, here uh, in Maduana lives, uh, live uh, quite a lot of uh, skiers. Of course, we have such an amazing tracks to ski to. So that isn't a surprise. Andris Jubel is heading for control number 13. Pretty straight forward there. Outinen from Finland uh, choosing the straightest possible uh, route to control number 12. And Petrulis from Lithuania going, uh, going a little around, not choosing the straightest course. Uh, not choosing the straightest option there. Willy Laitamaki from Finland uh, coming into the finish and uh, looks like uh, he is the first one who comes out of the forest today. His time is 15 minutes and 18 seconds and uh, he has uh, had a, a very good race in for my thoughts. Here you can see Laitamaki and Raize um, from Latvia. Uh, Raize taking uh, a ski a slope around, but looks like they are uh, they uh, they collected the control uh, at almost the same time. So that is interesting. Two completely different route choices, as you can see, also to control number four. Ukrainian checking if the control is right. Could be that it is not, or maybe it was. Trying to think of some uh, route choices there. Also, Lithuania, Igna Sambrazas uh, coming in only 17 seconds slower than uh, Vili Laitamaki from. Finland right now. And here we can see Nauris Reise, I think. No, I'm sorry, that was Tuam Sveit from Latvia. Uh, he was the first one who started the, this, um, this race today. And uh, his time is 18 minutes and 51 seconds. And he is uh, 3 minutes and 33 uh, seconds uh, slower than, uh, than the leader right now, Willy Laitamaki from Finland. We can see Autinen from Finland heading there to control number 14. Going back, taking a root choice. Petrolis from Lithuania. Control number 13. Andris Jubelis from Latvia. Andris Jubel is uh, his time 16 minutes and 17 seconds. 
59 seconds behind the leader for now, Willy Laitamaki. Let's see, uh, Raize and Baunis from Latvia and Laitamaki from Finland. Uh, Raize taking a big loop there. Um, but they both coming into the control from the from the other side. Um, Bone is a little bit slower there, but still pretty good. Uh, and looks like uh, all uh, three of them, ooh, all three of them uh, started the loop, uh, but Bone is. Uh, um, Bonis came to a conclusion that he is not going straight to the control, that he is going around in a loop. So he quickly turned around and went back. As uh, we could see, uh, judging by the, uh, the GPS and the split results, uh, the time is pretty similar if you choose to go uh, all the way around the loop or if you, go, if you go a little bit through the loop and then you realize that uh, you are in the loop and not going uh, straight to the control and then you head back. So the time is uh, quite similar, quite similar there. Thomas Autinen from Finland coming into the finish. Looks like he is, uh, uh, he could be at the second or third spot, maybe. Depends on the speed there. And uh, looks like Thomas Autinen uh, from Finland is in the third spot, right behind Ignas Ambrazas from Lithuania. Only two seconds. And uh, 19 seconds behind Vili Laitamaki from Finland, uh, who is still a leader right here. Raize, Baunis, also Halop, Skoda, Halop choosing uh, to go straight to the control and looks like that is a tiny bit slower than going around uh, through the tracks that uh, on where you can uh, ski faster. Also, um, uh, we are uh, uh, <laughs> we are uh, very very sure that the race will become pretty tight. Uh, uh, of course, during the end of uh, of this race. Uh, oh, here we can see uh, Adamovich from Kazakhstan heading uh, out uh, out of the map. There. Um, Let's hope that he finds his way back and uh, finds control number 11 or 12, depends on what he's uh, searching for. Um, but uh, we are definitely waiting for uh, Bjornar Kvale, Jorgen Baklid and Henrik Fredriksen Aas. Uh, they are all from Norway and they are top three athletes in the current World Cup standings. So... Um, the end is definitely going to be very, very exciting here. 
but it will come uh, pretty soon since this is a sprint race and as you can see the fastest times are um, are pretty similar right now the fastest time 15 minutes and 18 seconds so it will all uh, go uh, go on pretty soon Adamovic from Kazakhstan uh, went a little bit out of the map as uh, we saw earlier. Okay, looks like he he was going to control number 12 and uh, maybe misread the map or traveled a little bit too fast and uh, got back and went to control number 12 again. So that's good. Andri Jordi from Switzerland. Yes, that is Andri Lordi from Switzerland. Heading straight into the forest. As we can see, the snow, uh, the snow is uh, snowing pretty heavy uh, again. So let's hope that the snow helps uh, all the athletes be fast and uh, travel successfully uh, through the course into the finish. Bjornar Kvale from Norway. He is right now the number one man in World Cup standings. So uh, it is definitely going to be interesting watching him race right here in Latvia, Madonna. Adil Tolubayev from Kazakhstan coming into the finish as the sixth fastest one for now. He is uh, three minutes and four seconds behind the leader and his time 18 minutes and 22 seconds. Uh, let's compare Leitamaki Kamsvag and the... And uh, no one else. Oh yeah, we can see we can see them taking uh, pretty similar route choices here. Heading around through the back, through the right, and then comes Svag uh, from uh, Norway, taking a little different route choice. Let's see, I think the both uh, route choices were pretty similar, judging by the split times. So we will see that at the finish line, of course. Now it is Reise from Latvia coming into the finish. Uh, looks like he is going to be the third, maybe the fourth one. Looks like now Risa is 21 seconds behind the leader and his time right now is 15 minutes and 39 seconds. Let me remind you that the leader is still Ville Laitamaki from Finland. Right now Lithuania, Nerius Sultis.
Jonathan Stahl, uh, Jonathan Stahl from Sweden going into the forest. Also, Kevin Halop uh, from Estonia was uh, in the finish as well. Uh, just a few seconds ago, his time 15 minutes and 41 seconds. Fifth place for now. Stiri Kamsvag uh, from Norway coming in as well and looks like he is going to uh, set the uh, fastest time uh, for now. Yes, and he comes through the finish line uh, 31 seconds faster than Vili Laitamaki from Finland setting the new fastest time uh, at first uh, to the first controls uh, he didn't uh, set uh, the best times but uh, there at the end looks like he pay, uh, pick up the picked up the pace and uh, and right now he is the fastest one for now Bjornar Kvale from Norway, um, not setting the fastest split times at the start here, but let's see, everything can change. As we just saw, uh, Stirk uh, Kamsvag from Norway wasn't the fastest one at the start as well, at the uh, start of the race, but at the end picked up the pace and... Uh, and uh, right now is the fastest one. Uh, Tobias Habenicht from Austria. Kalinkin from uh, Ukraine heading into the finish. Ishihara from Japan as well. Um, here we can see. That was uh, Oivind Vigen from Norway. Pretty good split times for him at the uh, beginning of the course. Also Niklas Ekström from Finland. Being very fast as well. And uh, Jonathan Stahl from Sweden. Lars Widmer uh, in the finish. He is from Switzerland. And uh, let's see who is coming as well. Jakub Skoda. Looks like he is going to be uh, third fastest for now. Everything can still change since there are some more athletes coming in. That is uh, Truls Lindholm. From Sweden.
Miska Tervala from Finland passing that uh, radio control right there and uh, here we can see heading to control number six. Hobnicht from Austria um, right to the control number four. Nordstorm, uh, Nordstrom uh, to control number three. Heimdall um, looks like is uh, going uh, into uh, that could definitely be a mistake. Um, he is going to not to the control number two, but to completely other side. Looks like uh, he uh, realizes that now and tries to correct his mistake. And Lindholm is heading straight to control number two. Uh, Radek Latziga from Austria at the finish. Stolf uh, collecting control number nine and then Ekstrom collecting that one too. They have pretty good split results at uh, the start here. So uh, let's wait for them at the finish line and uh, let's see what their end results are. Nagi from uh, Czech Republic taking a little different route choice to control number two, going uh, around, uh, around the, through the right side, left side, I'm sorry. With his last name. Here comes the Volpe Bartosz. Uh -huh. 164 is Andrzej Rome from Estonia. 12th position. And this is uh, Wojtek Bartos uh, from Czech Republic coming into the finish. Uh, looks like he is going to be in uh, top 10 uh, for now. Everything can still change. We have, uh, we have uh, some uh, strong athletes uh, still in the forest through the race. There are uh, also some of them that uh, haven't even started the race. For example, Gustav Jonsson from Sweden. Uh, Rasmus Wigbom from Sweden as well. Mm, Matis Yama from Estonia. This one is uh, Kaspar Sultis from Lithuania, also heading to the finish. Looks like top 10 result as well. This is Josef Nagy from uh, Czech Republic uh, coming uh, through the second radio control as the fastest one. Showing some uh, very good split results. And here we can see Nagy and uh, Heimdall. So as I correctly remember, Heimdall made a mistake there. 
Yes, he did. Got confused there for a little bit, but then went around. Maybe that was not a mistake. Maybe that was just a very interesting route choice. We'll never know. Uh, but Nagi uh, still going a little faster. Nicola Müller uh, from Switzerland. Skiing uh, right past the, the TV control, which is after one kilometer. Uh, Müller and Nagy uh, heading uh, to control number six. That one is just a little comparison of how they went to that control. And Bjomar uh, Kvale uh, uh, coming into the finish. Looks like he is going to be taking the second fastest place right now. Um, yes, uh, his time 15 minutes and 10 seconds. He is 23 seconds behind uh, Stir Kamsvag from Norway. Both of them are from Norway. And let's not forget Niklas Ekstrom from Finland crossing that finish line. And he is right now in the lead. His time is 14 minutes and 27 seconds. Uh, he is the fastest man for now. And uh, he is 20 seconds uh, in front of Stir Kamsvag from Norway, who was in the first place, uh, who was the fastest one for quite some time there, but not anymore. We still uh, are uh, definitely waiting for uh, Josef Nagy uh, and uh, Nicole Müller and uh, Jonathan Stahl. Here we can see Misa Tuomala from Finland. Only eight seconds behind uh, at that uh, radio control. So that is definitely going to be a very tight race. Let's see uh, if they are using the same shortcut. Yes, they all are. That's good. Also Nagi uh, taking a little shortcut there as well. Going to the control number nine. And this one is uh, Jonathan Stahl from Sweden coming into the finish. And uh, he could definitely be at the lead for now. Yes, he is going to be in the lead for now. Jonathan Stahl from Sweden has uh, is right now the fastest athlete in today's race for now. His time is 14 minutes and 16 seconds. He is 11 seconds in front of Niklas Erkström uh, from Finland and 31 seconds in front of uh, Steve Kamsvag from Norway. Right now we can see Oivin the Vigen uh, from Norway. His time is 15 minutes and 30 seconds. He is 1 minute and 14 seconds uh, a little slower than the current leader, Jonathan Stahl. As well as the GPSs, Müller, Nagy and Stahl. Three different approaches to control number 10. Here we can see um, uh, 
uh, from Norway. Uh, Vegard Gulben didn't manage to read that. I'm sorry. Vegan Gulbrandansen from Norway. Uh, that was him. And right now, Miska Tervala from Finland coming into that fourth position. 39 seconds behind the leader. His time is 40 minutes and 55 seconds. Um, that is not a lot of time to be missing uh, from the podium. Uh, for now, of course, uh, only eight seconds behind the third place. But let's see how everything still uh, changes. Uh, when uh, when uh, all the athletes uh, have finished. We still have just a few athletes that haven't entered uh, the race, uh, not the race, but haven't uh, went out into the forest. It's Apo Vipola, uh, Jorgen Baklid, and uh, Stanimir Belomajev from Bulgaria, as well as Gustav Jonsson from Sweden. Uh, Gustav Jonsson is the first, uh, is the last one who is going to be uh, heading into this Metersils uh, forest today, and we have uh, only four minutes until his start. So after that, uh, we are no longer waiting for anyone coming in. We are just uh, watching the split results and trying to predict how the final results will be. Uh, right now, that was Tobias Habenicht from Austria. His time 15 minutes and 17 seconds. He is right now the sixth fastest athlete. One minute and one second behind current leader Jonathan Stahl. Here you can see a little comparison between Jonathan Stahl from Sweden as well as uh, Müller, who is still in the forest. This one is Edwin Nordstrom from Sweden. Looks like he is going to be at the, in the sixth position for now. And yes, he is at the sixth position for now. His time is 15 minutes and 15 seconds. 59 seconds behind the leader right now, Jonathan Stahl. And this one is uh, Rasmus Wigbom, also heading past the radio control number one. Here we can see Müller and Stoll, uh, as uh, Stoll has already finished, but Müller is uh, still racing in the course, uh, skiing uh, through the slopes and tracks. So, uh, as we can see, um, if it stays like this, uh, Müller uh, won't uh, won't be faster than Stoll. Looks like Müller is. Could he be making mistake? Yes, that. Oh no, that was a tiny, but it still was a mistake that could cost uh, Müller uh, the the chance to fight for the first place. Um, that was very unfortunate. Right now, Aslak Heimdall from Norway into the finish. Looks like top 15 is waiting for him. That's only for now. And this one e if I'm not mistaken, Apo Vipola from Finland. Yes, that is him. Um, second to last uh, participant today who is uh, going into the forest. And right now, Gustav Jonsson from Sweden. Um, Evert Toivonen from Finland. Um, as we can see, pretty good uh, split times at the beginning of the course for Evert. And right now, in the finish, 
Looks like, uh, that is Truls Lindholm and right now he is concluding uh, the race being the 15th fastest athlete in today's sprint distance for a men's elite class, elite group. And uh, yes, this one is Gustav Jonsson uh, from Sweden. He can finally uh, go. As you can see, a lot of strength in him. I think uh, being uh, being the last uh, athlete that heads uh, into the forest from the group, uh, that could be very, very exciting because you don't know anybody that, uh, you don't have anybody that is skiing right behind you. You only have people in front. So it's like a little uh, cat-mouse chase. Um, also, um, also, yes. Uh, Nicola Müller from Switzerland uh, looks like he is coming into the third position. He is the third one, 22 seconds behind Jonathan Stahl, Nicola Müller. Um, as we saw, he made a tiny mistake that could, uh, that definitely did cost him a few seconds. Um, without that mistake, he could be in the second position. Um, Maybe he made some more mistakes. Um, we don't. Uh, we don't know. Um, but uh, right now, Stanimir Belomajev from Bulgaria uh, is uh, showing uh, the fastest split time to the uh, to the first split control. Control number three. Very nice. That is very nice as well. Um, here we can see Schneider, Gulbranson, and uh, Rapp, Yama, Wigbom, Aas, and Toivonen. Heading into that uh, loop uh, right uh, at the... Uh, at that uh, part of the map. Uh, and then all they have to do is come uh, back up and then into the finish. Heading uh, to the finish, Petr Horvat, uh, Horvat, I'm sorry, from Czech Republic. Um, looks like it is going to be top 10 for him, uh, for now, of course. Uh, we still have athletes in the forest and uh, looks like he is just a few seconds in front of Jakub Škoda from Czech Republic. But right now, Petr Horvat, Horvat from uh, Czech Republic, uh, his time 15 minutes 21 seconds. He is a minute and five seconds behind the leader. Uh, Misa Tumala uh, into the finish, and looks like that is the fourth position. He is the fourth fastest athlete for now. His time 14 minutes 41 seconds, 25 seconds behind the leader, Jonathan Stahl, for now. As you can see, a little comparison uh, for all of the four athletes. Uh, also, Yama from uh, Estonia. He is uh, still in the forest, if I'm not mistaken. I am not. So, uh, he could be fighting there for uh, top 10. Uh, also, maybe a higher place. Uh, we will see that at the end when he comes out of the forest. Right now, Jonathan Stahl uh, from Sweden uh, is the fastest uh, fastest one for now. His time 40 minutes and uh, 14 minutes and 16 seconds. 11 seconds behind him, Niklas Ekström from Finland and then uh, Nicole Müller from Switzerland, and his time is 40 minutes and 38 seconds. But we still have uh, many athletes in uh, in the forest. We have uh, Stanimir uh, Belomajev from Bulgaria, who just has set uh, the two fastest split times to the two uh, to the first two radio controls. Um, he is, um, that is, uh, there are only a few seconds, I think it was, 
looks like yeah only two seconds faster uh, he's only two seconds faster than the second fastest to that control um, but uh, still he is faster. Uh, Begard Gulbrandsen from Norway um, looks like he is going to be about a little less than 40 seconds behind the leader right now. Uh, Begard Gulbrandsen, um, his time 40 minutes 54 seconds. And uh, he right now is the sixth fastest uh, athlete in this uh, course today. Gion Schneider from Switzerland. He's battling for the place this time outside the top of 20. Not a Looks like he is going to be some time. It is going to be a few, a f not a few seconds, uh, a little over, uh, over two minutes. Yeah, two minutes and 27 seconds for G uh, Gion Schneider from Switzerland. Like now, uh, Linus Rapp from Sweden. Which he is skiing fast and uh, looks like his uh, time is uh, going uh, to be 15 minutes and 7 seconds. He is in the 8th place for now and uh, and he is 51 seconds behind the leader right now, Jonathan Stahl. As you can see, comparison uh, athletes uh, between themselves and uh, of course uh, Jonathan Stahl right now has the fastest time so these uh, gps's can uh, tell us um, a little bit more about the speed during the race and here we have uh, right now Matis Yama from Estonia. His time, 40 minutes and 53 seconds. He is 37 seconds behind uh, Jonathan Stoll. Uh, Matis Yama is from Estonia. Uh, looks like he had a pretty good race himself. At first, there were some difficulties, judging by the split times, but the at the end, he managed to uh, correct uh, those difficulties, maybe some mistakes. And uh, right now, the sixth place is uh, for him, with him, right now. Uh, but uh, let's see, we can uh, see Gustav Jonsson from Sweden traveling there, uh, skiing. So uh, he will definitely soon be in the finish. Uh, Rasmus Wigbom from Sweden coming strongly. Coming into the finish, looks like he is going to be in the ninth place. And uh, his time right now, 15 minutes and 3 seconds. Um, also, Stanimir Belomajev from Bulgaria. He is... Uh, he is uh, pretty fast right now. His time uh, for the control number 12 is uh, 19 uh, min 9 minutes and 14 seconds. And he is the fastest one right there, right now. Uh, Jorgen Buckley, though, which we can see on the screen right there, is um, a little... Uh, he is uh, 11 seconds behind him. Uh, so, uh, control number 12, we can see Buckley approaching control number 14 right here and Stahl uh, in uh, front of him. Uh, Buckley really needs to have a clean uh, race for the last controls and pick up some speed to, um, uh, to be uh, the fastest one here. Um, looks like he was, maybe he was standing there for some seconds. Maybe that was the GPS. Uh, Gustav Jonsson at the end there. And Henry, Henrik Fredrik Seas from Norway. 
at the finish, but looks like it's going to be uh, 16th, 17th place, 18th place for uh, Henrik Fredrikse Aas. All right, now we are still waiting for uh, for the athletes to come to finish. This one is uh, Evert Toivonen from Finland. Um, he has uh, he could be that could be that he had made some mistakes from control 12 to control 16 uh, he has definitely lost some, uh, lost some time for the leaders there so could be a mistake could be maybe speed right now ever Toin, uh, toivonen uh, is in the in the 14th place Right now, Jorgen Buckley, the second best uh, at World Cup standings. Uh, right now, he is in the third spot. His time is 14 minutes, uh, 14 minutes and 32 seconds. He is 16 seconds behind Jonathan Stahl. And uh, we are still waiting. Oh, that one is Bulgarian. Uh, yes. Uh, that uh, is uh, Stanmir Belomajev from Bulgaria. Uh, he has had the best split times. He had the second best to control 16. Right now he's heading straight to the finish. Will he be faster or will it just be a few seconds? Let's see Stanmir Belomajev from Bulgaria. And looks like he is, oh, uh, he just missed the first place only by two seconds. Stanimir Belomaja from Bulgaria. He has, he had an absolutely, uh, absolutely beautiful race. He had almost all the fastest split controls except for the last two, and for the last two controls, he was, um, he was only three and then two seconds behind Jonathan Stahl, which is the first one, uh, the fastest one, uh, the fastest athlete in the men's group right now. Stanimir Belomajev from Bulgaria. His time is 14 minutes and 18 seconds. Two seconds behind Jonathan Stahl from Sweden, uh, who we can see right here. Um, so Stanimir Belomajev still in the second place right now. Uh, Gustav Jonsson, uh, we cannot see him right here. He is a little bit behind, um, but other athletes they have to go pretty fast. Here we can see true emotions from Stanimir Belomaja from Bulgaria. He looks uh, pretty, uh, pretty satisfied with his race, uh, showing his uh, coach, uh, could be a family member or a friend or a clubmate, we don't know, uh, showing the race. Uh, and this is Isaac Jonsson from uh, Norway uh, and we can also see uh, right right besides there was a GPS which shows that uh, I don't think it's uh, possible uh, for um, for other athlete, athletes to catch, catch Jonathan Stahl at the end right here they have to ski incredibly fast to do that uh, here you can see Apo Vipola from Finland. He, there will be definitely some seconds behind Jonathan Stahl here. He is coming to the control number 100 and right now to the finish line. Looks like Apo Vipola will be finishing at the fifth place. Still a pretty good result. Top six for European Championships. Uh, that is not a bad result. Uh, looks like he is uh, slightly disappointed with his race. Uh, could be better. Uh, he definitely had uh, some mistakes at the first part of the course. Um, and at the end of the part, uh, end of the course, uh, he managed to pick up the speed and uh, do a clean race. So that was uh, the the second part of the race. What uh, what was that part which uh, who brought Argo Vipola higher on the uh, rankings and uh, on the today's results? Gustav Jansson. Uh, 
um, traveling, uh, going, skiing to the control number 16 right there. Um, but I don't think he has. Yes, he at uh, the last control, uh, control number 12, uh, which was. Um, uh, which was radio control. He was 54 seconds behind the leader uh, right now, uh, Jonathan Stahl. So uh, could be, could be that uh, he is uh, fighting, looking more at uh, could be tenth place. Let's see. Let's uh, not uh, judge it uh, too fast. Gustav Jansson coming into the finish uh, at control number 16. Uh, he was already minute and 10 seconds behind the leader. So I am afraid that it won't be even the top 20. And yes, that is Gustav Jansson uh, crossing the finish line and his time 15 minutes and 26 seconds. He is minute and 10 seconds behind the leader. So looks like we have uh, our uh, top three or fastest athletes for men's elite course today. Jonathan Stahl from Sweden, his time 14 minutes and 16 seconds. Then uh, Stanimir Belomazhev from Bulgaria. Um, he is uh, only two seconds behind Jonathan Stahl from Sweden. Uh, two seconds is not a lot. Uh, could that be some tiny, tiny, tiny mistake somewhere during the course? Could be. Maybe that is speed. Maybe. And then in the third spot, we have Nicolas Ekstrom from Finland. He is uh, 11 seconds behind Jonathan Stahl. His time 40 minutes, uh, 14 minutes and 27 seconds. Here we also have uh, some missed punches and did not finishes. And uh, the podium, uh, podium, um, podium GPS. We can see Backlid taking, uh, that was definitely a mistake there. Vipol are making a mistake at the start as well. Um, here we have them taking almost the same route choices. Backlit going, uh, taking some loops, maybe not so necessary. Um, mm, here we have Stall uh, going, uh, going straight, and looks like uh, that uh, that was the place that gave uh, him a lead. Uh, and also, uh, also this. This part, uh, the road to number 13, uh, was his key to the success. Also to 14. Okay, so Stall made some very, very good um, route choices at the end. And looks like he definitely picked up uh, the speed. Uh, and uh, the first place, of course, definitely is deserved for Jonathan Stahl from Sweden today. Uh, very good race. Um, and uh, we, we could uh, see that uh, his... Um, his opponents uh, and uh, other athletes did make some mistakes, definitely at the first part of the course. Um, why the first part? My thoughts are that uh, the first part is like when you uh, go straight into the race and you are uh, maybe nervous and um, 
and uh, let's remember that it was snowing heavily, heavily, heavily. Uh, so that means that the slopes and some tracks could not be that easily visible. And if you are skiing at a very good speed and trying to read every track uh, that is uh, around you and uh, go through the shortest way possible, uh, your head could go a little, uh, a little crazy. So I think uh, that's uh, that's of course completely normal to make some mistakes. We all do sometimes. And uh, well, this. Uh, this map, this, uh, these races, uh, what we are expecting in the next few days, they are definitely going to be very, very interesting. Uh, because as you saw today, there were some, uh, almost I could say, invisible tracks today uh, that you could just like ski right past them and don't even see them. So uh, mistakes are uh, welcome and mistakes will be seen a lot. And that, that is definitely something that is going to make uh, this uh, championship so interesting, the terrain. Also 18th, Czech, best two Czechs, Horvat in 20th, Skoda 21st, Swedish Jonsson 22nd, Norwegian Viggen 23rd, also Wave 24th, Ignaz Ambrasas best Lithuania in 25th place, Finnish Oiten in 26th, Czech Lassiga 3rd, Czech 26th, Latvian best of Muslavaka Shonen, now it's rising to start to go yet. Fourth best Czech Naki in the 29th, Ninth uh, Swedish Lindholm, 30th Norwegian Heimdall, 31st, second best uh, Lithuanian Kasper Sotu, 32nd, uh, Swiss Wittmer, 33rd, Latvian Zabonis, Jubilus, 34, 35th, Tristatu Teatris, Piervita, Swiss Miller, 70 into 36th place. So 12 minutes to the flower ceremony, 140 flower ceremony, we know each other's the ceremony. And uh, looks like that we have to wait a few more minutes uh, till the flower ceremony. So I'm just going uh, to remind you of uh, the top uh, top six athletes uh, in the uh, elite classes today. Uh, let's start with the women at the top six. Uh, sixth place uh, were um, uh, Birgit Dor Dorothea Matslian from Norway. Her time was 16 minutes and 27 seconds. Then uh, fifth place. Uh, Vilma Pesu uh, from Finland, fourth place uh, Anni Salmela from Finland, uh, third place Alina Nigli from Switzerland, um, second place Kristin Melby Jakobsen from Norway, uh, she was 23 seconds behind uh, uh, oh, Ella Thurson. Oh, I'm sorry, that was uh, the uh, women's 20 class. Uh, but for women's 21 class, uh, the sixth place, Maria Hoskari from Finland. Uh, for uh, fifth place, uh, Lisa Larsen uh, from uh, Finland. Uh, then uh, we have Frida Zanberg from Finland uh, in the fourth place. Uh, third place, Elin Schagerstorm uh, from Sweden. Second place, Evelina Wigbom uh, from Sweden. And in the first place, 24 seconds in front of the second place is Daisy Kudre Schneider from Estonia. Congratulations to all the uh, podium uh, members today and uh, if we uh, take a quick look at uh, the men's course and uh, the podium there uh, top six uh, let's be precise uh, top six for Nicola uh, sixth place uh, Nicola Miller uh, from Switzerland fifth place Apo Vipola from Finland fourth place Jorgen Baklid uh, from uh, Norway third place and the bronze medal 
Finland, uh, Niklas Ekstrom. Second place, amazing race from Stanimir Belomaja from Bulgaria today. And the first place, uh, the fastest one today, Jonathan Stahl from Sweden. Amazing congratulations to all, uh, all the podium members today. And uh, that was an amazing race. Some mistakes were made. Uh, a lot of different things happened, but it was quite amazing, as it always is in the sprint distances in the ski orienteering championships. Um, right now, I want to quickly remind you that uh, tomorrow we will have the middle distance. You can um, uh, you can join us here in the live uh, TV starting at uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, just as uh, today. So uh, tomorrow it is uh, the middle distance. Uh, then we will have on Friday the mass start, which will be super exciting since everybody will be going together and we will be watching them, uh, them making mistakes and going faster and going slower all the time. And then uh, Saturday, uh, the uh, 4th of uh, February, we will be uh, watching Relay, a uh, very interesting distance as well and we will conclude this ski orienteering championships with sprint relay on uh, this Sunday the 5th of February um, I really want to thank you all for watching and joining us today uh, join us uh, for four more days uh, during this week my name was uh, Elina Kremer uh, thank you again so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow uh, for the middle distance here in uh, Latvia Maduana Smetersils and uh, of course European ski orienteering championships Thank you and have a nice rest of the day. Bye.